The attribute binding is similar to property binding, but instead of setting value to an HTML element property, you are going to change the value of an attribute. So let us go to our project and see it in action. In here in the HTML file, I'm going to create a new button. So I'll just type in here HR for an horizontal line and then button. I'm going to set the type to be just button. And then to set an attribute similar to setting a property, you need to use the square brackets. Now for properties, you just use the property name, but for attributes, you need to use a TTR, which is short for attribute, then dot, and the attribute that you want to set a value to. So in this case, I'll set a value to this attribute. The value is going to be attribute value. Since I do not have this property, I'll just copy this name, go to the TypeScript, and then paste it in here. The value is going to be, let's say, movies app test value. Let us save the change in here. And then let us go to the browser. Now you can see that we have the button in here, but the button doesn't look like a button. So let us just go and add some text to this button. And here I'll just type sample button. And then let's go back to the browser. Now in here I'll just right click and then go to inspect so I can inspect this element. And then here you can see that we have the type button and we have the property area label set to the movies app test value. So you can see that the attribute binding worked as expected.